Hi guys, welcome back to a new tutorial of Isaac Sim. In this video, we are going to see how to interface and TF for an Isaac Sim simulation cat and robot. So, well, in uh, previous videos, we see how to interface and uh, seam level command for the teleoperation thing and camera and LiDAR interfacing. So, in this video, we are going to see how to make the TF for coordination frame to identify the robot's uh, exact sensors locations. So, in this video, uh, I will introduce you to how to make a uh, transformation coordination for the sensors which is represented in the cat and robot so first i need to import the action graph for the raw zone publisher transformation tree and uh, on play ticket to make the ticket uh, to execute between the different action nodes so in this uh, uh, raw publisher transformation ticket uh, transformation uh, tree i'm going to connect this action graph with an uh, on play ticket and the uh, simulation lifetime so these three nodes need, needed to make the TF data and then we need to add a target frame go to the action graph of the TF coordination frame and go to the add and we need to add first the cat and robot so the cat and robot is in base and then we need to add a cat and robot sensor ladder sensors ladders or something else which is you need to make the coordination for the robot here I am only adding the ladder sensor for my cat and robot then open a new terminal and type raw score to make the ROS masters to launch between transfer data between the ROS1 and uh, Omniverse so you may find out here the TF is visualized and the word on the OGP camera we already see that those things right so find out in this uh, when you type ROS copy echo at TF so the information which is passing between the ROS and the Isaac sim will be visualized in the terminal so the rotation and translation values will be available on this terminal so x y z values is available so then uh, we need to make a robot to move right for that we need to launch a ROS run to your place to keyboard to control the robot using a keyboard command so then then we can identify that the transformation the translation and rotation value is changing now so you may find out sometimes right it's changing so then after changing this so uh, like uh, we give the base as a carton the robot base and then we give the ladder thing you may find out from the frame id is in carton and the frame link is in carton ladder so carton underscore ladder so this is the thing the base link the child is child is in base link the translation will be identified from that so so we did not get the odometry we need to uh, give the odometry information to the robot so next video we'll see how to add a odometry then open a avis uh, to visualize the tf data then first you need to go to the fixed frame and change to the carton to the frame then go to the add and add a tf now you may see the coordination frame is available in xyz so the, i already explained the base is in carton the top is in carton underscore ladder so the ladder information will be uh, published between the carton and the ladder uh, which is available on the top of the robot so these information uh, will be transferred between the base and the ladder position so the orientation and the coordination will be identified by the TF so this is a matter so now I am moving the robot using a teleoperation thing so you may identify by moving the robot the ladder value also moving in the TF some base to the upper base upper base of the ladder so i am rotating now the tf value also rotating now. the ladder is getting the information giving the information the transformation values so this is a matter and next video we'll see how to make the odometry information from the wheel or ladder sensor thank you subscribe to the channel